Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we are going to be talking about implicit differentiation. Before we begin, if you are new to my science tutorials, kindly consider subscribing and pressing that notification button so that you don't miss any of our latest tutorials on biology, chemistry, mathematics, and physics. So let's begin. Alright, so assuming we have the function s cubed plus what y cubed is equal to what 3xy. We can consider this function as an example of what implicit implicit what function. Because the function we are about to differentiate is not just in terms of x but in terms of what two variables that is what x and y and we have to find what dy dx or we have to differentiate this function now if we have to differentiate a function like this first of all we need to differentiate each of the individual terms that we have over here after that we make what dy dx the subject to get our differentiation now it is very useful for us to remember certain facts now if we differentiate just the x coordinate we have over here if we differentiate this we can get what 3s squared but in the case of y, if we differentiate, let's say we differentiate just y, we get what? dy dx. If we differentiate y squared, we get what? We get what? 2y, that is the 2 multiplies the y, and then we attach what? dy dx to it. That is for functions that contains what? y. The same way if we differentiate the function let's say we differentiate this function 2y cube it means after we differentiate this function and we use what the 3 to multiply the 2 over here if it becomes 6 then we subtract 1 from the power becomes what y square we need to add what dy dx to the function okay so it means when we differentiate a variable that is in y we add what dy to dy dx to it after we differentiate the function which is not the case in the in case we are differentiating just x all right also there are certain things we also need to look out for we can see that we have what a product of what x and y over here now whenever we see this in an implicit differentiation we need to know that x is a separate function and then y is also a separate function so which means we have what two functions multiplying each other over here so in this case when we are to differentiate this function and we have what x and y or for instance maybe 4x y we need to treat them as what two products okay two products multiplying each other and so we need to use what the product rule to find what dy dx of the function what y is equal to s cube sorry we have to find what dy dx of the function what s cube plus what y cube is equal to 3xy all right so let's go ahead and write solution so our solution for this problem is what we differentiate each of the functions over here individually so it means what d dx of the function s cube plus what y cube is equal to what d dx of what this function x 3x y so it becomes what d dx of what s cube plus what d dx of the function what y cube is equal to what d dx of what the function 3xy all right so if we differentiate s cube we get what 3s squared over here plus now we have y cube remember i said whenever we differentiate y after differentiating we add what dy dx to it so if we differentiate y cube we get what 3y squared then we add what dy dx to it and then we now is it's now equal to what now this the 3 over here is a constant so i can bring it outside and then still differentiate just the two functions that we have over here okay so we have 3s squared plus what 3y squared dy dx is equal to i still have this 3 now 
because these two are two different functions and they are multiplying each other i need to use one the product rule so by using the product rule it means first of all i need to hold down x now i need to differentiate the function y so if i differentiate y i get what dy dx now plus i need to hold down y and differentiate just the function x so if i differentiate x i get what one okay so that becomes what the product rule for x and y so from here i can just go ahead and write my 3x squared plus what 3y squared dy dx to be equal to what this is what if i use the 3 to multiply to i get 3x dy dx plus 3y all right so from here i can see i have dy dx over here dy dx over here so let me group them at one side and then group what the other variables also at another side so that i can easily what factorize through them all right so if i do the if i bring this to the other side of the equation so i have 3y squared dy dx then minus 3x dy dx is equal to what 3y then I bring this to the other side so it becomes minus 3s squared. So I can see dy dx common between these two. So I factor that out. So I have dy dx into bracket 3y squared minus what 3x to be equal to what? Just 3y minus what 3s squared over here. So all I have to do over here is what? Divide both sides by what? 3y squared minus what? 3x here to 3y squared minus 3x so this cancels this so i have my dy dx to be equal to what 3y minus what 3x squared over what 3y squared minus what 3x now if i look through this i can see that 3 is common over here so if i factor out 3 over here from this i can get what 3 into bracket y minus what s squared then i have what three outside over here then y squared minus what x so it means my dy dx at the end will become what y this will cancel this so i have y minus what s squared on what y squared minus x as what my final differentiation of this function over here Alright, so let's have a look at the second example. So we have to find dy dx if we have the function 3s squared minus 7y squared plus what? 4yx minus 8x is equal to 0. Alright, so let's go ahead and differentiate this function. So if we are going to differentiate this function, it means we apply what? d dx to the entire function. So 7y squared plus 4yx minus what 8x is equal to 0. So it means we are differentiating each of the functions individually. So it becomes 3x squared minus what d dx of what 7y squared plus what d dx of what 4yx minus what d dx of what negative 8x is equal to 0 all right so from here i can see i have 3 here 7 here 4 here 8 here these are just constant so i can bring them in front of what the d dx so that it will be easy for me to differentiate so i have here 3 d dx of what s squared minus what 7 d dx of what y squared plus 4 d dx of just the function y and x then minus what minus this is also what minus over here sorry this is minus so this the negative is not going to be here again so minus what 8 then i have d dx of what the function x to be equal to 0 all right so from here i have my 3 repeated so if I differentiate s squared, I get what? 2x. So minus the 7 is over here. 
if i differentiate y square i get what 2y then i add what dy dx to it then plus i have 4 over here now these are what two functions multiplying each other so i need to use what the product rule so using the product rule first of all i hold down the y i differentiate x it becomes one then plus i hold down the x so i now differentiate y and if i do that it becomes what dy dx then minus eight if i differentiate just x i get what one is equal to zero so from here i can just simply what uh, solve this and I get my answer. So I have 6x minus what? 14y dy dx then what? Plus this becomes what? 4y that is 4 multiplied by y and this becomes 4y plus what? This 4 multiplied by x dy dx becomes 4x dy dx then minus what? 8 multiplied by 1 becomes 8 is equal to what? 0. So I can see I have 14y dy dx over here i have 4y dy dx over here so dy dx is common over here so let me um, group them at one side and then group these other terms at what the opposite side of the equal to sign so i'm bringing this first so i have 4x dy dx dy dx then i now bring minus what 14 y dy dx is equal to now i send these guys to the other side of the equal to sign so so i send it uh, um, over to the other side so i have eight here then i send um four y over there so i have negative four y then i send the six i have what negative six x over there so from here i can see what uh, dy dx common over here so i just factor that out so i have dy dx then I have here 4x minus what 14y to be equal to what 8 minus what 4y minus what 6x. So I divide both sides by 4x minus 14y. 4x minus what 14y. So at the end I have my dy dx to be equal to what 8 minus what 4y minus 6x on what 4x minus what 14y but i can further simplify this by saying what dy dx is equal these are all even numbers so it means 2 is common for them so i factor out 2 then i have um, 4 here sorry 4 minus this becomes 2y then this becomes what 3x on this is 2 this becomes uh, 2x this becomes what 7y so the two cancel each other so finally finally my dy ds is now equal to what 4 minus 2y minus 3x all on what 2x minus what 7y all right so let's have a look at one final example and then we end this beautiful tutorial so the third example is what given that given that s squared minus what 3xy plus what 2y squared minus 2x is equal to 4 i'm to find what dy dx at what at the point 1 negative 1 all right so let's write down our solution so first of all we need to what differentiate this uh, equation implicitly and find our dy dx and then we can substitute the values of what x which is 1 and then y which is negative 1 into our result and obtain our final answer so differentiating this we have what d dx of the entire function here s squared minus 3xy plus what 2y squared minus 2x is equal to what d dx of 4 all right so from here it means we have d dx of the function s squared minus d dx of the function 3xy plus what d dx of the function 2y squared minus what d dx 
of the function 2x because the negative is already outside is equal to if i differentiate the constant i get zero so let me put that there all right so uh for convenience sake let me rewrite this ddx into bracket what s squared then i bring the three outside so i have negative three here ddx of what just x and y plus i bring these two outside two ddx of just what y squared then minus two outside ddx of what just x is equal to what zero so if i differentiate s squared i get what two x minus i have this three over here into bracket these are what two uh, different functions multiplying each other so we use the product rule so which means i need to hold down the x first then i differentiate the function y so if i hold down s if i hold down s and i differentiate just the function y i get what x dy dx then plus and i hold down the function y i differentiate s which is just what one all right so plus two then i differentiate the function y squared so i get what 2y then dy dx attached to it so minus this 2 over here and if i differentiate x i get 1 is equal to 0 so i have over here 2x minus this becomes what 3x dy dx plus what the negative will multiply this so it becomes what negative what 3y then plus this becomes what 4y dy dx then minus 2 is equal to 0 so from here let me group the 4y dy dx and then the negative 3x dy dx at one side so if i do that let me write this first i have what 4y dy dx minus what 3x dy dx to be equal to i bring the negative 2 to the other side becomes positive 2 then i bring the negative 3 y over here so it becomes what positive 3 y then i bring the positive 2 x to the other side it becomes what negative what 2 x so i factor out dy dx over here dy dx so i have 4 y minus what 3 x to be equal to what 2 plus what 3 y minus 2 x so I divide both sides by what 4y minus 3x, 4y minus what 3x. So at the end, my dy dx of this function becomes what 2 plus what 3y minus 2x, all on what 4y minus what 3x. Now I'm to find what dy dx at the point what one and negative one so all i have to do is to substitute the value of what one in place of what wherever i find x and then what negative one in place of wherever i find what y to get my final answer so let's do that so dy dx at point at a point one negative one so Initially, our dy dx that we obtained after differentiating that function was 2 plus what? 3. 3y. Three so I have 3y minus 2x all on what? 4y minus what? 3x. So it means my dy dx is equal to 2 plus what? 3 into bracket negative 1 minus 2 into bracket 1 all on what? 4 into bracket negative 1 minus 3 into bracket 1 so my dy dx becomes if i solve the top over here i get what 2 plus what negative 3 over here minus 2 over here everything over here i get what negative 3 and then negative 4 minus what negative 3 will give me what negative 7 so the negatives will cancel out i now get what 3 on 7 so it means what my dy dx at the point negative 1 and 1 and negative 1 is what? 3 over 7. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.